That was a really bad clap, actually. <laughs> Let's try one again. There we go. So before we begin, I'd like to invite you to the League One and Two Discord server where you can join a growing League One and Two Discord community. It's actually grown quite a lot recently, so uh, come along and uh, and enjoy the discussions that we have on there. If you like to see something else that I do, I do a podcast called Gaps in Knowledge uh, where we talk about geography and history. The link to that's in the description. And if you would like to support the channel, you could do so through Buy Me A Coffee. The link to that's in the description and everything else that I've just mentioned is in the description. And if you do donate, uh, firstly, it's much appreciated. And secondly, if you leave a message, I'll read it out in the next video. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. Welcome to German Jills. Gillingham head up north to Yorkshire to take on Doncaster Rovers this afternoon. Your German Jills show will be bringing your live match reaction today from your host, Reese. We beat Doncaster the last time we met, but the out of form team could have a new potential manager bounce. German Jills come in live from Duisburg, Germany to see if the Jills could take their first three points away from home of the season. Schön, das du da bist und los geht's, Jills! Welcome to the German Jill Show as Gillingham take on Doncaster Rovers this afternoon at the Eco Power Stadium. Doncaster are out of form but do have a new manager, so they could have that new manager bounce that Gillingham should fear this afternoon. Kickoff in the UK is at three o'clock, but over here in Germany, it's four o'clock, and it's really great to have you on this German Jill Show. I'm going to be your host, Reese, to take you through every step of today's game, and any Doncaster fans here as well, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you'd like to look at our socials, we are on Instagram, on German Jills, and of course, we are on Twitter, which is Deutsch Jills. If you would like to go straight to the live match reaction, use the chapters at the bottom of the video to navigate around. So let's have a look at what happened the last time we played Doncaster Rovers. So we've got Jacko taking this through on the left hand side, obviously launching this one in. It's bouncing around, it's gone right over the keeper. We got a goal straight away, and Jills have scored in the first minute of the game. A long throw in from Jacko on the left hand side, completely foiled the Doncaster defence. And out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, no, to, no Doncaster defender attacked the ball. They let it bounce. I thought the throw was going to go in direct. Obviously, we don't do. We can't do that. And Jills have got the best start imaginable at this crucial game. A long throw from Jacko that hasn't worked much this season. No Doncaster player went for it. And it is Kelman who's put it in the back of the net. The man that needs to get a goal to raise his confidence. He's put it in the back of the net. And Jills take a very very early lead in this crucial match against Doncaster. The game ended in a 1-0 win actually and it was a really important win at the time because Doncaster Rovers were struggling at the bottom of the table of League One uh, but unfortunately again as we know for the Jills it wasn't enough and we ended up being relegated along with Doncaster. Doncaster this season have started quite brightly but have fallen a little bit over recent uh, recent games so we'll have to see how this kind of pans out but they have got a new manager so just like the game at Hartlepool away this season there might be a bit of a new manager spring in their step that we have to be aware of but hopefully we can overcome that and get our first three points away way this season. Let's head over to the Eco Power Stadium for today's live match reaction. Los Gates Jills. So we're about to get underway at the Keep Moat Stadium, uh, or the Eco Power Stadium. <laughs> Let's hope Gillian could just some goals would be nice. There's a couple of hundred Jills fans that have made the journey. Let's make sure they can go home at least cheering a couple of goals. Come on the Jills. Doncaster coming forward now. There's a lot of space there for them to attack as they've got another centre. That's a great ball. They get the shot. They could be dangerous and it just goes over the bar. It's the first meaningful attack of the game. And what Doncaster are doing actually is that they're passing the ball at the back and Gillibles are trying to do a lot of high pressing and it's going to our advantage to a certain extent. However, uh, when they do get the ball forward from that um, from the pass at the back, Doncaster do have a lot of space to run at the Jill's defence. And as you can see what has happened there, these kind of attacks can be created. Luckily for Gillingham though, it wasn't on target, but it is really the first meaningful attack of this game so far. Jill's coming down this right and so of Alexander looking to get their first attack of the game themselves. It's gone to Green. He could be offside if he's uh, not beat the trap, but he has done. He's going to take on his man. He needs support from Alexander. He's going to put it straight into the box. Anyone there to head this? They have one. Like McDonald and it's gone into the keeper's hands. That's a shot on target. That's going to be the highlight reel. Don Gross has got a freak on this right hand side. It's pretty much a corner as it goes into the middle. It's punched away by Morris. Is it going to be followed up by Doncaster? It is. It's a good volley. It's been deflected. Possibly a handball. 
uh, but nothing's been given and it goes out for a throw on this left-hand side. We don't need to go to a replay because Doncaster has put the ball back in play, but we're going to watch it anyway. I follow, again, sort this out, stop being eager to get to replays. Just wait a minute until, we're, until the play is over as the ball is sitting in play and has a buzz kick towards goal and collected by Lickland Morris. So, I mean, I follow, wait until there's a break in play properly until you show a replay. Still nil-nil. Doncaster now got this chance on the right-hand side. They've got a little bit of a counter-attack and an overlap to deal with here. They go to the right-hand side. It's a good ball across. This could be a dangerous opportunity. Just shot on goal. It's a good block, however, by Chad Alexander, who hopefully should clear his lines in. It's going to go out for a corner. Another snap attack from uh, from Doncaster and Jules. Again, uh, earlier Green had a good opportunity just to pass the ball. Maybe create a shot himself, but he took a heavy touch, giving Doncaster the opportunity to go forward. Uh, and it seems to be this kind of story. Though, and Doncaster attacking Jules on the counter attack and uh, doing pretty well at it, actually. And uh, if they keep this up, they will find the back of the net shortly. Jules have managed to hopefully get possession of the ball. That's going to be a free kick, I think. But it's not going to be a free kick. Go keeps up the ball. He's got a lot of space left. over Laws can take a shot from distance and it just goes past the right-hand side of the post. And actually, that's Bitchill's best chance, if not only chance, of this half so far. Um, I didn't quite see the build-up of what exactly happened there. I thought there was a foul in the build-up and it fell to O'Keefe. And actually, you don't even see Law, the initial pass. <laughs> but he is there and he takes a shot first time. Good effort. Just wasn't his day to get it on target. But it's probably the closest she was to come to score in this half so far. And that... It's half time. So it currently stands Doncaster Rovers nil, Gillingham nil. And I have to say, really, that Gillingham have contained Doncaster quite well and Doncaster have contained Gillingham quite well. It's just one of those pretty much stalemate style games. Doncaster had a couple of chances, so did Gillingham. Um, but there's really not much happened in this game. Apart from Doncaster are trying to play it from the back a lot more and Gillingham are pressing quite high. And that's putting Doncaster under a lot of pressure. And they are making a couple of mistakes at the back. So um, that is an opportunity for Gillingham to try and get in. But as a result of that, if we don't press them and, and win the ball, it does leave... Uh, the space up the other end of the pitch don't cast the press on uh, and they have created a couple of opportunities that way as well so that's their game plan um, but we we'll have to see how it unfolds in the second half it, it, it might just be one goal that swings it or it could even end up being nil-nil um, but it, Jill's do need to score a goal I mean obviously we know that but it, I, I desperately need to try and get some chances to get in the back of the net because at the moment I, I sit in here and thinking this could be another nil-nil or a one-nil loss is really kind of gut-wrenching and I don't really fancy talking about that at the end. However, it currently stands but Doncaster nil, Gillingham nil, so let's see how it goes on in the second half. So we're about to get underway for the second half. I'm just adjusting my mic. I literally just come back to get a drink. Uh, let's hope Jules can actually get some goals in this second half and... Uh, Maybe we could celebrate something and add an extra one to the gold of the month, which I have to say, we've got a couple this, uh, this month, so that's to look forward to. But let's see if we can get another one here before the month ends. Okay, so uh, Doncaster's got a free kick. They're going to shoot from distance. What a shot that is. It's cannoned off the crossbar. And I wonder if Glenn Morris has saved that himself. He hasn't. It's just come straight off the crossbar. What a free kick that is. It's the most exciting piece of play we've had in this game so far. I'm surprised that he's meant to manage to shoot from this distance. And it's just cannoned off the crossbar and gone out for a goalkeeper. What a free kick that is. And, uh, you know, if that goes in the back of that, I'll be tipping my hat to you. What a fantastic effort from Doncaster. But it still is nil-nil. It's chipped in by Doncaster. It's a good ball they can control. There. That's fantastic. Well, they've got a great chance here. It's a shot and blocked by Bagger. Fantastic block by Bagger. I wonder if Morris would have saved it anyway, but regardless, it's good to have Bagger there to get his body in the way. He reacted uh, really well and was very agile to get his foot there to put the block in and knock it out for a corner. We're going to see that one again. Really good play by Doncaster. A good one-two pass there. And uh, yeah, good block by Bagger. Read, his, read that shot well and managed to get his body in front of it, which he's done quite a lot today, actually, as uh, the corner is taken by Doncaster and it looks like it's going to be cleared away and a free kick uh, from a foul on cash kit. Doncaster, a few more, few more opportunities in this second half so far. I'm looking more likely to score currently, but it is still nil-nil. So Jill's got a free kick in a relatively dangerous position. Uh, it looked like Casket was trying to offer the short pass or through the wall, but instead it's going to be a chip into the back of the box and the cross by Bagger and flicked over by Emo, and it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Really good work by Jill's, and actually a really good attack at the end. I didn't think that was going to end up on target, but it's a really good ball. And look at this header back from Bagger. Eyes on the ball, really solid. Put it on Emo's head, who managed to get it on target and get goalkeeper closet away in the end. Really good work by Jill's and a really good attack for the second half. Doncaster coming down this left-hand side and uh, the game's opened up a little bit now so Doncaster wouldn't surprise if they get themselves a tack on goal as they're now looking to get down this right-hand side. There's going to be a shot from distance. That's a fantastic shot and gathered by Morris. Another shot on target for Doncaster on the 57th minute. 
Doncaster now the ball on the right hand side. There's a lot of space in the creating attack as it goes into the box. This could be dangerous for Jules. It's headed towards a goal and it's gone in the back of the net. And Doncaster have scored. And the problem Jules have now is that every time Jules have gone one nil down, we found it very hard to get back into the game. But I think, in fairness, Doncaster were the, the team more likely to be scoring in the second half, and they've managed to find the back of the net. And Jules again with their poor scoring record. I do not see a particularly good way out of the game for Jules. And Doncaster are having this new manager bounce. What a ball this is in the box as well. But there was a lot of space there for the ball to be put in the box no real challenges there a free header and in the bottom right hand corner and again Jills are really struggling to get goals and to begin to get one back into this game Doncaster score a good goal it's looking more likely they're going to come away at least with something from this game I don't see Jills winning this game actually from now on I hope I'm wrong but it's Doncaster 1 Gillingham 0 Doncaster got a freak on this right hand side. Can they double their lead in as many minutes? As the ball goes towards the goal, it's gathered by Morris. My goodness me, Doncaster could have easily gone 2 0 up there. <sighs> Lucky for Jules, it's still 1 0 at the moment. Great work by Doncaster. Get the ball on this right hand side. Jules could just not depossess them. They've managed to keep hold of the ball excellently. Doncaster are going to get this ball into the box, no doubt, um, on this right hand side where they have been attacking excellently well most of the game. And uh, he's got <laughs> okay if they're trying to block this cross. It goes into the back post and it should be dealt with by McKenzie. It has done, but only to the edge of the box. It's a shot at goal. It's palmed away by Morris. And Jules just get away with that one. It was another shot on target by Doncaster as they go back to their defenders. Jill's just got away with that one, but that Jill's have got possession here. We're going to keep the highlight going because uh, Ollie Lee is at the ball. We don't see Ollie Lee back on the pitch, actually, to Adelek. And, uh, is, are we going to have anything for here? No, it looks like we're going to slow the pace down to the right-hand side. Um, I'll end the highlight there. Oh, will I? As the ball goes into the box, can Jill's actually get us on the end of this? Actually, yeah, I will end the highlight there. What a terrible ball that is. Still 1-0 Doncaster. And that is full time. So it ended Doncaster Rovers 1, Gillingham 0. And I just want to say one thing, Gillingham, you need to score some goals. It's ridiculous. It's 16 games in the league and you've got six goals. Sort it out. And that's all I'm going to say from this. Thank you very much for watching it if you made it this far in the video. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks after the FA Cup games. Bye-bye.